I'm a math major in my junior year. I have two internships right now in software engineering. I'm a full-time content creator, and I'm also about to be a father of three. It's all in the daily routine, down to the small details. So first, I wake up, then I um, take a shit, usually. Then I get out of bed. I like to wake up on the early side, around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually, but sometimes GMT. It's very important to exercise, and today I'm going running with a couple of my friends from my main job. Before I do that, though, it's important to eat a large amount of a weird food. I don't have anything super weird, so I'm just going to eat a bunch of dark chocolate. The reason for that is if I perform poorly athletically, then I can blame it on the food. And if I perform very well, then I can say, damn, I beat you guys and I ate three pounds of shrimp. This is a very advanced move pulled off by professional athletes only. You guys are out here playing checkers. I'm also playing checkers, but it's impressive that I beat you because I ate six pheasants beforehand. I attached a little bit of running footage, but honestly Milwaukee isn't the most aesthetic city ever, so when I get back I take a shower. I just recently got into this hobby. My friends who are more long-term fans of it told me that you can use this napkin to pose aesthetically. It's like a big cloth napkin you wrap around yourself, so I practiced that for a little bit. Then I usually make breakfast. I can't really describe that well, so I'll just attach a little montage. Sparka, Master Architect, a fist up, real bad man around here. Tell them so I wrap up on a level up on a chat up, I'm here, sir. Get up and drink. Ah. Because I'm madder than, madder than, sicker than them Madder than, madder than, sicker than them Dreader than dread, dreader than dread Yeah, but look how me tell them, say, yo, yo Say what? We rise up on a let the pussy them a ball Some a hurry up all, police where them a call That now go stop me with the killing none at all Tell them empty look, no fear, no sound none at all Blood is flash out and I'm on an all yellow diet right now It helps me do math more effectively because yellow the reasons are beyond most people's comprehension, so I can't really get into it here on YouTube. I end up working usually for six or seven hours on my first internship, which is vascular research. It's a vascular research platform to train surgeons, and it uses some generative AI and lang chain stuff, you know, typical VC slop. We have this tradition at my main job where if someone leaves their computer unlocked, and someone else types in donut to any text field in your computer while you're gone, then you have to buy the whole office donuts. And I thought I would get around that pretty easily by just having Colmac DH as my keyboard layout, but somehow people still figured it out. I guess they just trial and errored one key at a time. So I went and I got donuts before work. Then I brought them into work. Then people ate them. My work is pretty nice, so I spend a good amount of time there working for... I can't really talk about what I work on at my normal job because of, um, you know, you know how companies be. We help optimize things, do AI stuff. It's pretty cool. I get home usually at about 12 or 13, and then I work some more, usually on my personal projects, or I try to draw something. Sometimes I go online and I talk sarcastically about Unix software for money. After all of that, I hop on high pixel bed wars with my two day ones and we play about 200 rounds until 6. At this point, usually I hit the gym for a few more hours. If you're wondering how I have so many hours in the day, I just use a different base system. You're on probably base 12 or technically base 60 hours, but if you do base 300 hours, it gives you a lot more hours in the day. After a good long day of random nonsense, I'm usually pretty tuckered out and I can pass right out, but sometimes if I can't, I have a tradition of doing something extremely boring so that I fall asleep. That's pretty hard for me because I do so many boring things normally that my tolerance is very high, but for anyone with a similar situation, I can suggest reading FFmpeg commands out loud, trying to set up AWS infrastructure, after that, I go to bed and wake up about an hour later so that I can talk to one of the many different VCs that's interested in funding my really creative startups. There are some guys from New York University that I met while I was in Greece. I met remotely while I was in Greece. We usually talk about investing in businesses and whatnot.
Then there's some other guys here I met at work. We're starting a new kind of project. You'll probably hear about this. I might go full Ben Awad startup style. After that, I open up YouTube and scoff at commenters' ignorance. I spend three hours drafting up clever replies using Vim, but then ultimately decide to 